Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a thrifting haul. I went to a flea market and then um, I also went to an estate sale. I'll share with you what I got and my mother-in-law got three tall wide mouth ball jars for canning and she got an oval um, candle wick little dish or platter, you know, the clear glass that has the little balls on it. As I left though, I saw that there were these two boxes that had these brand new lights. I just looked them up and they're $35 a piece at Michael's. So I spent 10 and I got two. So I wound up handing her a 20 at the end and we spent $30 total. So I kept one and I gave her one and it is really nice. I've wanted to get a ring light, but I don't want to store a ring light. So this one is real slim and then this base comes off so I can just tuck this down there so two of those and then um, okay so what did I get included in the $10 bag this oh my goodness I just looked this up they all go for different selling prices there was one that was for about 107 there was one that was 40 they have one listed for 175 it is this mortar and pestle and it's wood with this um, ceramic or stone, I don't know. And it has this indentation of a three, so it's just so neat looking. This thing is heavy. And on the bottom, it's got a number two, warranted TM and S acid proof, I believe. I can't remember what that brand was, but it's in New Jersey. And a lot of these said Civil War era, 18, 80s or 90s now that's obviously a little after civil war but they said that they were for pharmacists every listing said it was an antique we picked up about four toothbrushes just so i can have some um, on hand in case anybody forgets them especially because we had company and somebody did these little birds i could i'm just going to rinse them underwater a little toothbrush and soap and water and they have a 15 cent pencil price Oh, and it's got some markings on it. All right, let's figure out what that says. Although that looks like German or something. All right, this says it too. It's too faint to tell. It also doesn't look like English. And it almost looks like it might be a quote or something. I'm not sure. Very interesting. But it's that chalk plaster type material. Two little bluebirds paint brushes they had a ton of craft paint but that does sometimes start to go bad i can always use white so i picked up another white also seeing some stuff that i forgot to give to my mother-in-law how cute is that that might have to go on display in my cabinet until i can get it to her great shape no marking there how sweet would that be for spring this angel and it's funny how I'm not a reseller, so condition doesn't matter to me. I pick up what I like, but I also feel like I like stuff that's got damage and a story, but it's put back together and it's still beautiful. I feel like that fits with my aesthetic. So definitely she's been repaired there, but I love the gold. I like that face a lot. I could just do a little gold paint there. And I mean, it's not even like it's that terrible. Friedel, Germany, US zone. Kramer, K-R-A-M-E-R, New York. That's probably a nice piece there. What does that say? Oh, nothing. And then another uh, crystal necklace. I just cannot help myself with these crystals. I just love them. You know what I should do? I should count everything up and divide it by $10 to figure out how much we paid per item. Um, an Italian little book, and that's what I've been trying to collect is little books. I don't know if I'm gonna cover them or not, but like this one is in nice shape and I like the blue, so I probably won't. But um, I had seen somebody had these little books like this that were plaid covered. I think the cheapest one I saw was 18 and it was in terrible condition, so they were pretty expensive. This says copyright 1931. And I'm noticing this too was supposed to go to someone else. So this is really interesting. There are these nails and these pieces here, and I don't know 
what the original intent was and you know and then someone said well there's this tiered thing about the holes in it. it can hold spools and I'll just use nails I just find it hard to believe that it would have been sold with just these nails holding it in but it looks like it was and that's very useful and I just love how that wood is old and I also picked this up because I thought that could be really cool for stencils and painting around and then pulling off the numbers. So all of this, not including the two lamps that were $10 a piece, it was 20 items for $10, so 50 cents a piece. So these are the things that I got at the flea market. So I got some jewelry. Um, let's see. This, uh, this lady wanted a dollar a piece for her items. So we have some floral motif piece with a little faux pearl. And that one does have an older clasp on it. So I liked it. I could see myself doing something like that. And there was one of these, call it Victorian clips with a little engraving. And these were 50 cents a piece. So pretty. I've been finding a few things like these recently. And uh, I'm not sure what I'd like to do, but it's nice to get a bunch. So I have really been into the coral and just kind of tucking it in in my little displays. I think it gives that real um, Victorian feeling of interested in nature and the natural world, um, travel, just mixed in with other things so it's just very unexpected and collected so i thought those pieces looked nice and then i have a piece similar to this and i always think that looks like the gills under a mushroom um, and i haven't made mine into a mushroom yet but i thought oh well, let's pick this up and then i can start to create a collection i looked at that and i said how cute a little cherry trinket box and then it had this little b clasp but um underneath just hand painted but you know it's Limoges when, or from Limoges, when it says hand painted. And so when I saw that inside, I said, oh my, I found a treasure. So I didn't know what the woman was going to ask. And she said, five dollars and if you know anything about the cost of these if you find one for 45 or 50 you probably feel like you found a deal i you know and when i might quote prices i see things on e ebay sometimes i'll see what they actually sold for sometimes i'll just see what someone's asking someone was asking i think up to 175 dollars for a limoges cherry trinket box so i was quite happy to find one for five dollars how cute will that be on display for summertime spring into summer also at that woman's stand she had a piece of wood and she had four glass knobs sticking in the wood and screws and everything and she said that she used it for towels in her bathroom well back in the day i could maybe find one or a pair for five dollars at the cheapest and when i say back in the day i'm saying i'm thinking like 20 plus years ago so she said she wanted six dollars and she even said i can do a better price and i thought all right well five is a nice even number as far as like giving change and my husband has made a wine bottle stopper with these that i think are awesome so i'd love more so i was looking at them and i believe that these two are the older style and you can just see the brass is a little bit older and then these have more of silver and they just look you know just clearer but I don't care I just like the look of them so my husband just needs to get a threaded piece he did a real cork stopper for the one that I have but he says he's going to try the plastic ones um, or I guess rubber or, or silicone yeah, so I thought that was a great deal because cheapest I've ever found was one for five. I got four for five. I have a couple more things to share, but I definitely feel like my mortar and pestle and my Limoges trinket box, I definitely just got a deal for what they really could um, sell for. I think my favorite piece, though, is um, this one. I feel like there's just the story behind her 
Uh, so I found two purses, and actually this one was from Savers the night before. I went with my daughter and she picked out some jeans, and we were just looking in the purse section. And so this looked so nice, in such good condition, I thought this could be new. But then when you see that lining, and there is no tag in there, and you can also see that it the lining is um, hand stitched in there. And I can't find a single missing bead or a single loose bead at all. So this was $2, but I always have a coupon. So I got, um, what, 40 cents off. So I paid $1.60 for this vintage bag. And then at the flea market the next day, at the same stand with the coral, I got this and he said, I'll take three. So I walked around and I came back. I liked that it was gold. I liked the stripes. He says it's called a compact purse because there's a compact or a mirror in there. Lining looks good. And it says, I think, Grace Gracel. And then some of this is frayed, so I guess the letter is off. So it starts out with Grace L I something. Um, I think this could be a really cool sculpture. If this were open and things were coming out of it, or I could also see this shut and with this flat part, things on top of it. So this is a beveled glass and mirrored display tray or box. $10. These people who set up around whenever there's flea markets at the churches in the area, I get to recognize them. And if you remember the haul from the uh, fall where I got that wooden picture frame and the little girl looked like a young Princess Diana, it's the same lady. So she's 83 and her daughter's helping her. And um, she just said that like she needs a helper now, but it's her mom's favorite thing to do and that she was an antique dealer. And now, you know, these she just loves being social at the the flea markets and the yard sales. So I think $10 was a good deal. It's missing like the little thing that goes in here, but I could just do a really cool hat pin. And honestly, it's level. So it's, it's just hang. well, I say that. <laughs> okay, I'll do a little hat pin. I got it to shut, but I also did put a hat pin in there to just show an easy fix. So I'm gonna Windex that up, clean it, wash it out, and put some treasures in it. So thanks for watching everyone. This was such a fun weekend of thrifting and I'll see you in another video. Bye.